download and set up sample data into our SDFS. So, we require some sample data for running our MapReduce programs. So, how to download them, how to keep them in the SDFS will be discussed in that one step by step. So, we shall download the sample data to run our MapReduce programs and we shall use the stack exchange data dump and you can get all the download links here. So, this is a download link from here you are supposed to download this file that is android.stackexchange.com. Dot seven Z. So, this file has to be downloaded, it is containing different data sets. Now, set up HDFS and store downloaded data and we should create some directory in HDFS and then store the respective XML files into it. In our example, we have created slash input folder and then another folders to store the respective XML. So, uh, in the HDFS route, we will be creating one folder, the name of the folder will be input, under that folder, folder we will be creating multiple subfolders and the respective XML files will be stored on them. So, under this particular input folder, we are having this badge folder and then batches.xml, we shall create another folder comments, comments.xml, post, posts.xml, in this way you can find that all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 XML files will be saved or will be transferred to this particular path and they will be used in our MapReduce applications development. So, let us go for one demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. At first, we shall copy one URL here. So, here is the URL that is the http colon slash slash archive dot org slash download slash stack exchange. So, we shall copy this URL and we shall paste it onto this browser URL box and paste and go. This web page has got open and here we are going to select android.stackexchange.com.7z. So, this particular file is to be downloaded, but actually I have already downloaded this one on my uh, download folder. So, I am not going for OK, I am going for cancel. Otherwise, I shall have to download that one. So, I shall open the download folder. The file is there. So, we shall go for the right click and we shall go for extract here. A new folder has got created android.stackexchange.com. So, the extraction is taking place. Extraction has got completed. So, we are opening the folder. This folder is having 8 XML files, you can find that. It is having 8 XML files. So, we shall copy all these files onto a, in the folder that is a MapReduce design pattern. So, we have gone to the MapReduce design pattern going for a new folder creation. Let the folder name be XML underscore files. We are creating a new folder under the MapReduce design pattern folder. So, we shall go for the respective download folder and there we have we are going to copy all the 8 XML files, going for the home, then MapReduce design pattern, then XML files. Now, we are going to paste all the 8 XML files here. So, now these XML files are to be put in the HDFS. So, Hadoop has to be started. We are opening one terminal. So, we are going for the Hadoop start. Now, Hadoop is starting. We shall also issue the command JPS to say whether Hadoop processes are running or not. GPS. All the processes are running. Now, we shall open the browser and this is the Hadoop browser is there. We are going for the refresh. There is one folder called input in the SDFS root. This input folder is void. It is blank. Now, we shall create. So, I am not going to execute that one. That is the MKDIR for input folder. So, I am going to create 
eight different folders under input folder and there we'll be keeping the respective XML files so the first folder has got created that is a slash input slash batch now going for the rest seven folders creation on SDFS and then we shall copy all the eight XML files to the respective folders We are supposed to create another four folders. We shall copy XML files there respectively after creation of all eight folders. So all these files are to be copied. So this is a, this is a command there. So put command. So copying files from the local system to the SDFS. So let me copy all the eight XML files in the respective folders. So in this way we shall create all the folders onto the SDFS and then we shall copy all these XML files to the respective folders and now let us check the input folder now and we can find that all the XMLs have got copied. Thanks for watching this video.